baked chicken and rice. It's easy, it's simple, it's one dish, and you can make it. I'm gonna show you how. We're gonna do a dry brine, which means we're gonna put it on a baking sheet with some salt. And kosher salt is sort of my go-to salt for this. And if you think you've put on too much, you're still okay. Because we're gonna take that chicken and get that salt off of there, but that salt is gonna really bring out the flavors of the chicken and it's gonna make that skin really crispy when it's time to bake off. So let's take a quick look at what we're gonna do. Now these are cleaned up and ready to go. Dry brining I also do with my steaks and this is gonna be in the refrigerator uncovered. It's real important that it be uncovered at least two hours. If you can do it overnight, it's even better. But you know, two hours. So we're gonna take, this is just kosher salt. We're just trying to make sure it's coated evenly. We're going to do both sides, and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator. The 13 by nine inch, we're gonna add a couple of cups of rice. We're gonna add uh, four cups of our liquid. Before I start, I'm gonna put some butter and some roasted garlic in the bottom. That's gonna give us a nice flavor that's gonna just float up through that rice. Uh, about six tablespoons of butter. Now that may sound like a lot, but I'm going to coat the entire bottom of this. And this clove of garlic has been roasted off with some olive oil and salt, and I'm just gonna squeeze it out. Then we're gonna put in here also this onion that was just half of a regular white onion. I'm just gonna squeeze it through my hands. You want to squish up those onions and those little garlic cloves so that there's not, even if you've got a piece of the garlic clove, it'll still taste really super good. And I'm going to add just a, this is a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and pepper to your taste. Now we're just going to coat the inside of this. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here. So we're going to just Kind of let this coat just like you would if you were, you know, baking a cake or something. Just let it coat around. And we're going to add our rice to it. If you don't want it starchy, rinse it. If you do like it starchy, don't. I'm going to use the same cup. Number one, we don't want to have too many dishes. And number two, I'm going to pick up some of the flavors. Two cups. And then we're going to take this and just put it right in here. Now, obviously, you're gonna get some rice that's gonna stick in there. We're just gonna put it right in. Stir this rice. Now, this rice is, uh, again, just a medium grain, regular rice, the kind you get at the store, nothing fancy. And I wanna just stir it in, starting to be coated with that. And I'm just gonna kinda pat it out where it's a little bit even. Now, when the liquid goes in, it really won't matter, but I want it to sit here for a few minutes. That rice needs liquid. You can use plain water if you want, but everything you cook with should add a flavor or add something to the meal. It's very simple to use a vegetable stock like what we have here, use a chicken base or a chicken bouillon. I'm gonna add this, of course, to some water. Typically, it's two cups of water or liquid to every one cup of rice. I'm gonna go ahead and use the vegetable stock. Now we only want about four cups in here. So this is pretty easy to tell because this is eight cups and I can tilt it back. You see how that rice is like at the bottom, it's not even moving yet. Okay, we're gonna break that up. Get it all smoothed out, make sure that there's nothing sticking up. that it's starting to get a little soft. Joining us in the kitchen today is my son, Charles. Uh, he's, he's actually a, a very accomplished cook in his own right. And we recently made this uh, baked chicken. And so he's going to tell us a little bit about how he finished prepping this out and about the brined chicken. And then we're gonna finish this up and in the oven they go. So I'm gonna turn this over to Charles. Uh, hey everybody out there on the, uh, the grand uh, YouTube scape. Um, I'm not an accomplished chef, so uh, she's being a little too generous, but I did in fact just make this the other night for my wife and I, 
And for the first time, I was able to get that perfectly crispy, rendered, roasted chicken skin that is just, in my opinion, the best part of the chicken. Agreed. I mean, the dark meat was really delicious as well, but if I could just have a bunch of that delicious roasted chicken skin, I'd go with that. Um, but where we are now, I see she already uh, dry brined these. I'm sure she already went over this. You already I went did. over this, right? I did. Um, you know, I, I've seen a lot of chefs, I mean, not just from her, but from other people online that I enjoy watching over the years. I'm a visual learner, so I, I, I watch a lot of content in that regard. And I've seen a lot of people do the dry brine, and I never tried it myself, but I can absolutely attest that it makes a world of difference. Uh, my wife has had the unfortunate pleasure of always had that chewy chicken skin oh, that she always complained about. Worse. So she, when she'd see me eat roasted it's chicken rubbery. skin, she thought it was gross. It's but gross. Um, if you dry brine it, it's going to, number one, bring salt into the meat as well. So um, the seasoning on the chicken is going to be great. It's going to help retain moisture, real nice and juicy. Nobody likes dried chicken, or at least, I don't know, sane people don't like dried chicken. Um, but the skin is really so where it we're going to get out. emails. Somebody's going to say, I like dried yeah, chicken. Well, that's all right. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just come at me, internet, I guess, you know, whatever. <laughs> but but in, in all seriousness, the dry brining in the, in the fridge uncovered for at least a couple of hours it makes so much difference. It's unbelievable. I couldn't believe how great it came out. I actually literally had to call her just to brag about how good the chicken came out, you know, or how with, well. With cell phone yeah. photos. Yeah, that's true. I'm not cool, okay? <laughs> she may say otherwise. So but, this um, is your, that's your rice. Okay. This um, is yeah. my rice. Uh, it, it's, again, I'm going to echo because I'm really good at that. Probably everything she's already said, but it's very straightforward from there. I mean, once you have your rice and your vessel of, you know, whatever you're going to cook it in, it's as simple as just picking it up and putting it in there, ensuring that you don't cover the chicken in the fluid. And it needs to be skin up so that it's gonna get direct heat on top. So you get that crispy, delicious skin at the end. And all that fat that's gonna render out is going to infuse into your rice or you know, whatever, you know, what other additional vegetables you may have inside. And it is just, it, it, it's comfort food to the max for me. You know, she used to make this a lot when I was a kid. Um, and adulthood as well um, but it, it's so good it's easy to make and it's great for leftovers I mean my wife were able to eat on that for another couple of days you know and all we did was four um, skin on bone in thighs so um, it, it really is something great you know if you're feeding a family it can go a long way and you get some delicious dinner rolls to go with it and for me pretty simple guy but that's a delicious dinner in my opinion so are we just we time to put the chicken in yes now because we we prepped that rice out first it is plumped up to where it's a little bit more stable. If you just threw in the rice, threw in the water, and then put the chicken in, that chicken might go down too far. Right, um, and did you wash the rice before you did this? Yes, the rice has been fully rinsed before. Lay it in there. Whoa, man, That's, oh my goodness. It's tough. But, um, oh, well, my not funny joking aside, I'm really the only part that's super important on this, um, they don't have to be super spaced apart. They should have enough room to cook, obviously, but it's the well, skin. Well, and they'll, they'll get smaller. Yeah, and it's the skin that is above the surface of whatever fluid you're using to cook this in, whether that's a broth. Um, I'd really recommend a broth, you know. I mean, We're using a vegetable and chicken stock. I'm not fancy. I didn't use a homemade broth, so, you know, I just, uh, you could even just put some bouillon in water, and I've done that a ton of times, and, you know, my lowbrow self, I thought that was pretty good. Um, but... Key, most important detail is just to ensure that that skin doesn't get covered by that, you know, cooking fluid so that obviously it's going to get that direct Towels heat. Over there. We're going to use a heavy duty foil. Uh, it's obviously a food service, but, you know, get the one that says heavy duty cooking foil. If you get the little cheap one, it's not going to be able to hold that in. Here. Whoa. So this is how our bander, bander. Cameraman. Basic. Look at that one right there. Look at that. Basic it's chicken bubble. and rice is going to look. We're going to let this sit for like 10 minutes. Not covered in aluminum foil. Do, do not cover it or else it will go soggy. Yeah, then all that work you did for the skin right. will be for not. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That's perfect. Ooh, baby. First, I'm going to move my chicken aside. The, the rice that's under the chicken. The rice, and I'm going to have a little bit of gravy. And here it goes. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is some yummy, yummy food. Mm -hmm. So. It is. It's 
salty and savory and it's for me like it's just like comfort food that's been prepared very well like it tastes like something that somebody has been making for years and you go over and they make it and everybody's like oh my god give me the recipe for that like that's how good this tastes yeah. people are gonna have it and they're gonna be like can i have the recipe for that because i mean and of course, the recipe for this is in our upcoming new cookbook, our second cookbook, Home Cooking Kitchen, uh, our volume two. That'll be released later this year. will be available on Amazon as well as off our website. And you got the recipe while watching it, but by the cookbook. I hope you enjoyed this show. If so, please leave a comment down below. Share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and smash 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 the like button and, and, and hit the bell icon for and hit the bell icon for notifications see you next time and we'll have some really yummy things coming up welcome to season two see ya